Hello, hello, everybody's Efrily, aka Oates Lawrence here. Back with another video, and we're back with, uh, I think it's a WR. Uh, I can't remember. Um, yeah, this is a WR. Um, and uh, yeah, this is at Brazil. Uh, last two races we've won two in a row. Um, so today we're going to try and make it uh, three in a row. Um, and uh, yeah, judging by the title, you're probably going to guess what happened. Um, but we're, we're going to save that for last. Um, you see, key one now, uh, first quality lap. Um, wasn't feeling the best um, for this one. I wasn't feeling much confidence. I couldn't really get the car to turn on the front, um, which kind of hindered me um, in in the practice sessions I was doing. Um, so I wasn't feeling very com comfortable because usually I like a lot of front end, um, and I tried making it as consistent as possible, and I just couldn't. Um, so we kind of had to sacrifice a bit of consistency to to have some confidence at least you can see. Uh, we do go purple in the first sector. Um, we can just see the rear end is all over the place. Um, and we're just trying to send it um, while trying to have as much front end as we can. Um, so, yeah, we're just, you know, not, not, you can tell we're not having, we're not, we don't have the best confidence. We get that corner pretty well. I think it's turn 7. I'm um, heading them into the, the long left. Um, so you can get pretty good traction heading into the, the very hard uh, to get the car rotated corner. Um, and now we're heading into the final corner. Flat out corner, pretty much not a corner. And I'm heading into the final corner now. You can see middle sector split was really good uh, for Q1. And now uh, we do the last corner, not too bad. Um, now we just straight line, take as short lines as we can to minimize the distance because um, you gain a little bit of extra time because uh, time has been everything in this game. And you can see we go into P2 just oh, by we slid them. Because we're once again showing how fast he is. Um, and uh, yeah, we got through straight the queue. To, uh, with these, um, even though that didn't feel the best, uh, so that gave me a little bit of confidence. Uh, you see, uh, we're P11 at the moment in Q2, but we did a use set, so uh, we wouldn't really, didn't really care about our use set. So heading into our first lap of Q2, um, getting the braking quite nicely, um, trying to get head into turn, uh, the next tech, turn two, sorry, <laughs> as much speed as you can. You see, we gain a lot of time on our use set run. Our use set run wasn't the best in the first sector. Um, you see we do a 7-3 uh, first sector, but not too bad, not too shabby. You can see, get the left hander pretty decent, it's turn 4, and then to turn 6, the uphill right, very hard to keep the rear end stable. Um, you can see, the rear end just wants to go by you know, steering inputs, heading into the right hander, um, trying to get the drift perfectly, well, trying to hit, not hit the grass. Um, coming out the, the next left, you can see we got a massive snap of overstay on the exit, heading into the hairpin. Now, you can see we turn, turn in too much. Um, so we turned way too early for that corner and uh, now we're going to come around the final corner to send into this next corner and you can see we do a, a 4-3-1 um, middle sector split which isn't great for Q2 and we're only on for around a, one, a point 0.1 so it's not the best Q2 at the moment coming across the line now to set a point How was that a 1? One, one, one seven, which was not good um, which did actually put it into P1 as you can see, uh, everyone finished their lap, so I was not very happy with that lap, even though they put us into P1, so it gave me a bit of confidence. You can see, you're heading into turn 2. We lost a little time entry turn 1, but then gained a lot on the exit. You can see, we're just going to gain slightly on the straight, because we've just carried more momentum on the exit of turn 2. Heading in now into turn 4, and matching our, our first sector on the previous lap. You can see, gain a little bit of time on exit, lose a bit on entry, um, so we sacrifice the entry speed. Um, now into the long right, losing a slight speed, and um, once again gaining slightly on entry. You see, we just undersee like crazy. Um, couldn't get the front to bite through turn seven. Now into turn eight, the long left, trying to get keep the rear stable. Uh, stable. Um, going into now the right hand. I'm actually so bad. Car, man. See, we're way down. What am I doing? <laughs> As you hear me say, I'm not good. Um, and yeah, it was a horrible lap. Felt like I couldn't improve. Um, we still still got through. Um, you can see how close the grid is as well. It's so close. Um, it's always Q2, like every track that has like the closest grid. Um, so uh, you're now heading to Q3. Uh, you can see first lap we have two new sets of tyres, so we can go flat out for for these uh, next few runs. Heading into turn number one and turn number two, getting it all right, getting a big snap. We'll see a few turn two, very hard to get the traction down in turn two. 
Um, Carl just wants to die for that corner. 7 5 first, which is awful. Um, heading into turn 4. Got a slightly wide apex. Didn't carry as much momentum as I possibly could. Couldn't really carry the speed as well because Alfie's on the right. Um, didn't lose us too much time, though. Doesn't matter. Uh, heading into the double right. You can see it got super wide uh, for the next right. Um, you can see get the drift pretty decent going too wide, uh, which compromised our left hander um, and the exit speed. So we couldn't really carry as much speed for there. Heading in to the hairpin now. Um, very. It was, was alright, we got a slight snap of Oversteel on exit, which hindered our run going into the final corner. You see a 3 2 9 in the second split, and the slap looks awful. Um, heading into the, the, the straight bit now, which is some some it's corners, um, but not, we don't really count them as corners. Trying to take as tight line as possible to minimize the distance. Um, and cut them across the line. Set a 7 0 2 5, which did not feel good, um, in my opinion. Aiming for around the 7. Um, so we're about two and a half, three times off. Um, you can see we have it heading into our final run now. Got to try and send it for the final one. You can see break very late. We didn't carry as much speed for edge turn one, but could try to send it for it turn two. So just try and get as much uh, a a apex speed as we can. You can see, first sector is not too shabby. Um, as I did, was trying a new wing before the session. You can see, 300s up on our lap. Um, and now we're sending it through the left. You can see 800s up on our lap. So we're going to absolutely send it. We know there's loads of time in this lap. Heading into the long, long right hander. Now going in to this corner. I think it's turn 8. Um, you can see we lose a little bit of time. But you can see we're about to gain a little bit of time on the exit. But then we have a little bit of hesitation. Um, and now going into this corner. You see we're carrying the minimum speed quite nicely. We get the big snaps of oversteer. You can see we're struggling a little bit with the setup. Um, not very comfortable with it in the low speed. I'm now heading in to the last corner. You can see it's not sure, very good. Actually, like, I'm shaking my head. I'm not very happy. Um, and I, I saw it. It was loads of, so much time. It's like it's way. It's, it's so much time. Like it actually frustrates me now. Um, I could literally just see like two Thames just yeah, thrown away. Um, so okay, yeah, it's it's not ideal. Uh, we we qualified about P9, P8. Um, so. Yeah, not at the end of the world. You can see, starting the race now, five red lights here in Brazil. And we go. Uh, Yano and Ismail, obviously both the championship leaders. Uh, so we got to make sure we beat them today. You can see, they're only in front of us. You can see, we get a pretty, pretty decent start. Reese Linton on the outside of us into turn two. And now, um, yeah, we get we get the move done uh, for now. Um, as we had a bit of a better run up in turn two, you can see these guys are battling like crazy, going three wide on the straight. Yano's on the soft, who's made quite a few positions already. Ismail and Navarro battling, um, same teammates obviously. Yano's and you see, on soft, we try and get, make a move on Ismail, but yeah. we think yeah, better of it on. and uh, yeah, back out. Um, and yeah, now we're just gonna stick behind. Um, you can see, Riesland's also behind. We didn't really want him to send them, so you can see Ismail kind of defends and trying to overtake. So you know, we use him as a defend. I wasn't really trying to make an overtake on him here. Um, and now I was just gonna, yeah, he's defending the inside once again, just to make sure I don't send it. Um, and uh, you know, we gained a position on the start, which is not too bad. But Yano's gained about four or five positions here, so he's gained quite a lot. I think he's into P3 or four. So um, yeah, he's done a really good start here. And now I uh, see Daniel Kelson, our Veloci Academy um, sister team, should I say teammate? Um, we're not really in the same team, but he's in Veloci. Uh, so. Yeah, we're just going to let him through, he's on the soft, you can see he's going three wide behind, um, and now heading in towards turn one. Um, going to go, you see Daniel sends us down the inside, and you can see we go slightly wide, and then, that looks bad. yeah, right. we're, we're in a wall. Okay? Um, you can see, I'm not, not very happy, um, but it's, it's it, at, at the time I thought it was his fault, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not really anyone's fault at the time, you know, it's just a bit unlucky uh, with Daniel. Um, you know, I think it's probably more towards my fault, but um, yeah, it happens. It happens to everyone. Um, not everyone's going to have the best race. Um, so, yeah, hope everyone enjoyed the video. The very short video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.